Welcome friends, it's Brian. This is Guitar Solo Reactions, and today we're doing another Prince one. This is a song called Habibi, which my friend Ellie, who has sent me emails and have commented quite a bit on my Prince reactions, uh, let me know that this means a friend in Arabic. So here we are with more Prince, and um, what is kind of re... Uh, invigorated me a little bit is uh, if you follow me uh, I mentioned that today I had basically woke up and I was kind of um, just answering comments and all of that or whatever or replying and out of nowhere I had several hundred that were from as far as six months ago that I'd never seen ever and um, it was a little disappointing, and I'm not sure exactly why that would happen, considering I usually try to comment uh, on my phone while I'm working, which is ridiculous, by within an hour, and that's not always um, sustainable or whatever, but I found it really weird that there were so many. So in those comments were quite a few links of things, uh, prints specifically, that I'd never heard of the song or the name of the video. And so I'm plowing through quite a few of them today to kind of get my uh, Prince fix. And not that I'd run out of things to do, but um, I just de needed to do more deep dive type stuff, like literally dissect videos or other live stuff, because there's stuff that comes out all the time. So. There is this part that I am redoing. I think um, I've done Purple Rain probably four or five times at least. And if I find cool versions, as long as they're different, or at least to me, then I'd love to do them. So I'm not sure exactly why I'm saying all of this, but if you love Prince, you're in the right place. I'm going to put that on a shirt or something. I'm not sure uh, what I'll do with that. But here we go. Now, I'm going to look while we're watching to see if this was an actual song or if it's a jam or whatever. And, and if you know, please comment and let me know uh, any specifics that you might know about this specific video, song, whatever it is. There's no way anybody could disagree with me that Prince would have been incredible as uh, to do like an homage to Jimi Hendrix and tour doing, you know, the handful of songs he did of Hendrix's and right there. I mean, not only could he nail it, but I think he would elevate it. I hate to say it for, you know, Hendrix purist as much as I love Jimi Hendrix consistency wise uh, Prince would just blow you away every night is how I would see it so let's get back to it <laughs>
that's beautiful. There we have it, Prince doing the song Habibi, which was, as I'm reading, off the uh, Prince Vault. It was offered as an MP3, and initially it was built on Machine Gun, where it's what's written here is it sound like he would even use some of the phrases uh, uh, lyrically and guitar from Machine Guns, and they edited it or maybe cut that part out or something like that. Um, but the song itself is based on Machine Gun, which is really interesting. And it says here, most likely it was Prince and guitar, of course, and Kirk Johnson on drums and Rhonda Smith. And uh, I think you see a glimpse of, in my eyes, what Prince could have done with even just a trio. And that would have been mind-blowing for him to just literally kind of distill down what he would normally do with maybe all of his songs I don't know but I think that would have been incredible as well to do kind of some really cool stripped down versions which I'm sure there's videos of that out there but um, I guess I have a lot of ideas of what Prince could have done and obviously um, you know that's maybe not <laughs> well obviously not very realistic or whatever but I just think there's a lot of great things that when you hear this, it just makes you go, oh, so not only could he have done like these big production things where there's a huge band, horn section and all of that, but he could literally be maybe even more effective with just a guitar, bass and drums. Uh, thanks for suggesting uh, the song. I, like I said, never uh, I even seen it mentioned before. Um, as far as I can remember and what a great thing and that Hendrix comment was before I even read this about it being built on Machine Gun or kind of influenced by Machine Gun and I stick to it I think he would have been an incredible I don't mean like a copyist of Jimi Hendrix but someone that would take the music and give it elevate it to be blunt like singing wise and rhythm section wise I mean all of that stuff Hendrix died in 70, and, I mean, had he lived another 10 years, who's to say, but, you know, technology-wise, a lot of the production values might have gotten better, he might have kind of found out who he was, even more so, not that he didn't know who he was, but at whatever, 27, I mean, come on, that's pretty young, and to be that mature as far as a songwriter is pretty incredible. Uh, but the same thing could be said for Prince, but he knew who he was kind of at the beginning is what it seems like to me. And someone like Prince, who's so determined, is probably not swayed by managers and record companies as much as like, unfortunately, Hendrix was manipulated and ripped off and all of that stuff. So that's a whole nother topic that um, is not even worth really opening. But I love Prince. I love his guitar playing, I love his songwriting, I love everything about him, and um, thanks, here, thanks for being here with me, and please come back for more.